We have the lovely Patricia Kara in Hi, studio. Yes. For some of you may recognize her who, if you're a Deal or No Deal fan. One of the select few to hold the suitcase. Number oh, nine, right? Number, number nine. Number nine. That's number, right. nine. Right. number nine. That was the Beatles. No. Yes. <laughs> And you know she was good because when they shortened the amount of time of the show, she stayed on there, right? Yeah, it was a great, uh, great time doing the syndication version. It was two of us, Tamika, number twenty-one, and and me, and then contestants got to hold the cases. So, how does one, or how did one, get to be a deal or no deal case holder? <laughs> Um, really, it was an audition process. They just had us come in. Um, we went through a few interviews where they just wanted to make sure we can walk and talk at the same time, basically, um, you know, see personalities. And it was just uh, per- all based on personality, you, really. You, you were yeah, able yeah, to yeah, walk yeah. and talk? I, at the same time. Can you believe it? And you showed me how to do it? And, and talk. Hold a, and hold, and the case? hold the case. And open the case. And make facial expressions while I'm opening the case. Can you believe it? I wow. passed the test. I passed it. That's way too complicated Woo-hoo! for some of us. <laughs> I forgot what you just said. There was so much what? to it. <laughs> I went to briefcase school and everything. It was just amazing. amazing was there time. money in the briefcase or was it all phony money? It was um, numbers that they actually had Velcroed on there. So from anywhere from a penny to a million dollars. One show we had $5 million, but it was all, you know, the so, numbers, not the actual money. So what was the biggest numbers you ever had? The five million. Ooh. And she picked me at the wrong time. So I killed her Ooh. game. Ooh. I killed it. Ooh. I felt so bad. And it's not our fault. We right. had no idea. But you do feel bad. You tend to feel bad because they have these dreams of taking this money and doing all sorts of things. Um, so I felt really bad for her. But we've had some really, you know, big winners on the show, too. What was the biggest winner? We've had a million dollars. Finally, in the fourth season, we had a million dollar uh, winner twice. Twice. And then we had somebody that won a million dollars via text. They texted in That's and they nice won. So we showed up at this guy's door with a million dollar check in, um, I think it was in Eugene, um, was it in Oregon? Yeah. And showed up at his door and he was so stunned. He didn't know what to say. I, he was just speechless. I, I felt so bad for him. But I'm like, you just won a million dollars. Like, life is good. I'd, I'd be happy He's if you just showed sweet. up at my door. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. You're very nice. <laughs> my, you wife, know, my wife might have makes something Makes it better to say. with a million dollars. <laughs> You're a lot better looking than Ed McMahon. He used to show up your door with a oh, million that's dollars. That's exactly what I thought of when we were doing Publishers it with Ed McMahon. Clearinghouse. Why didn't he ever come at my door? Darn. So, since this is sports and torts, we'll ask you, do you have a sports background? Um, not really. I mean, I was a cheerleader back in the day for basketball. That I works. go to more football games now. Um, so I love football. I don't know enough about it, but the games are fun, and basketball is always fun. So so that's about it, really. I went to my Chicago Bears game. I, the whole time living here, I've never been to a Bears game. I finally went a couple years ago. Um, I hear somebody's phone ringing. Somebody's important. I think no. that's Mr. Harris. I, if I knew how to turn it off, I'd turn it off. I never, <laughs> nobody calls me except it's Bill. It's okay, of course, phone. right now, right? right? It's okay, course. you can answer it if you'd like. Nah. Hey, do you want me to answer it for you? <laughs> no, that, that would really stun me. <laughs> He'll shock his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> What's you, happening over there? Well, well, it's perfectly innocent. Of course it is. Uh, My wife gets that. She talked to her friend who was growing up. She's saying what I'm doing, basically being an attorney and doing the show with beautiful women. He says, you trust him? She goes, of course, he's not you. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you guys been doing this? This version, about 10 months now. Yeah. Months. Yes. Coming Congratulations. Up, uh, almost almost, on almost a one-year anniversary. Happy anniversary if I don't get to Thank talk you. to you in the next couple it, months. It lasts longer than most marriages. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in L.A. <laughs> How is L.A.? LA is actually, I love it there. I mean, we have great weather. Um, this week it's a little windy, so it's, it feels a lot like Chicago, but... LA is beautiful, you know, we live by the beach, so it's, you know, and then you have work, so you get to work and play all in one place. Okay. It's not bad, not a bad place. And and you get to stay in shape by exercise? Absolutely, and there's <laughs> lots to do um, in LA, aside from my fitness DVD over there. I, and and you, <laughs> um, have, you have a, a fitness DVD coming out with... Alike. Alike Bogan and, and Pilar Lastra. Yeah, yeah, number it's, 20 and number 14 when they were on deal. And... Deal with your body? Deal yes, or, deal, deal, with or, it. Dealer, deal with it. Deal or no deal? It's a deal. It's a deal. She doesn't you want to deal, deal with your body. No, I, I don't. <laughs> You're so mean. So, so it's available now? It's available right now at Amazon.com, Allegro.com, and Best Buy. So run out and get it. It's a great workout. Um, the trainer who choreographed, she's actually from Chicago too, Gillette, Jeanette Saloma Hale, knew her in high school, and she's an amazing trainer, and I brought her on board. I'm like, 
you need to choreograph something for us. And she's really good at what she does, and I'm very proud of the video. And um, it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun with each other, and it's a great workout. Something tells me some guys would just buy it and sit on the couch. <laughs> Uh-oh. What high school did you go to? I went to St. Scholastica. And where's that at? It's on the border. It's in Chicago, but border Evanston. Oh, okay. um, Right on uh, Ridge. Yeah. I think it was Howard and Ridge, yeah. Okay, that's... An- All-girls school. Nice little... David went school. to an all-boys school. <laughs> I went to an all-boys Catholic school, too. Where did you go? Fenwick. Fenwick. Where's that? Oak Park. Okay. That's why I don't know it. I'm like, and you? I grew up in St. Louis. Did you really? Oh, as you much didn't I, meet him in St. Louis? As much as I grew up. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, St. Scholastica. Isn't that in Wilmette? When no, I, no, uh, no. Uh, it's Border Evanston, okay. but it's Chicago. Oh, it is Chicago. What's it the one Chicago. that's in uh, Winnetka that's... Off a of lake? Isn't yeah. that like... Notre, no, Regina not, uh, Dominica. Regina no, Dominica is the one I was thinking there's of. There's another one. Loyola. Loyola now has girls in it. Loyola Academy. Loyola does? Really? I did not know that. My high school went co-ed after I went there, which, <laughs> which is still, Gordon probably Tech a good go thing. Did Gordon Tech go co-ed? Gordon Tech. Remember Gordon Tech? Yeah. Gordon is Tech did. Co-ed Notre now? Dame did, too. Everybody's going co-ed. See? Why didn't they do this when I was in that's school? That's what I wanted to know. Darn it. We talked about this with before. When I was in college, my choice for seats was around all beautiful women because I was around guys my whole life. I wanted women around me. I do not blame you. Did I you do, do that not. when you went to college? Uh, Want to be around men? Yes. No, no, around beautiful women. Yeah. <laughs> around beautiful women? <laughs> no. Both. Because <laughs> <laughs> you went to what, Columbia for college? I did go to Columbia. I was there for a year, year and a half, uh, and then I ended up moving. But uh, yeah, Columbia was awesome. And it's great because in L.A., we have a lot of people from Columbia that have moved from Chicago, moved to L.A. So it's like being home almost, just with uh, palm a far, trees. A far western beach. suburb. Yeah, yeah, really far west. <laughs> so tell us a little about this video. Well, the video, like I said, Jeanette is the one who choreographed it. Um, she's a certified trainer. Um, I just asked her to come on board because one thing, I mean, w- women or people in general, we're always trying to, you know, lose weight, get fit, get healthy. And I actually, for a long time, would fluctuate from like 20 to 25 pounds. I'm a Chicago girl, a Greek girl that loves to eat. When I come home, I have pizzas and Italian beefs. It's all about, you know, the food. So, no Greek food? No, no gyros? Oh, yeah. Well, I eat Greek food like every day. That's a given. That's a given. Um, and Greek town here is amazing. It's not quite the same in L.A. So I do miss the Greek food um, here, too. And mom's cooking, of course. Um, so after fluctuating weight and just thinking about health and fitness, you know, as you get older, you think about those things. Um I talked to the other girls, you know, we're always talking about this and that and secrets and how do you do this and how do you stay in shape? And so we're like, let's put a video together. And we brought Jeanette on board, like I said, um, and it was great because I knew her and I know I know how she trains and she's amazing. Um, And she's a shy town girl, too. So it was all good. So we all came together and did this video. And it's been it's been great. So how do you get three girls, women? Uh What's coming (laughs) to get along without, you know. Cat fights? You'd be yeah, surprised. You. On Deal, we there were 26 women, actually 28 because we had alternates as well. We got along fairly well. I mean, they, I think the producers were really good about choosing the girls that were drama-less. Um, so it worked out well. We became like sisters. I mean, yeah, you had your little, you know, fits here and there, but then you love each other at the end. Okay. It's all good, kind of like being sisters. Was Howie one of the girls? Um, <laughs> we tried making him one of the girls. Um, no, he he was actually very cool. He would come backstage and hang out with us every so often. Um, and he was really, really cool. He was always just game for anything. He he loves to play those practical jokes. And just the don't girls touch did him. it to him, too. Okay. I tried high-fiving him all the I time. I was going to say, the one question we asked all the, time. The, the people who have been on Deal or No Deal, did you ever get to shake hands with Howie Mandel? And invariably... No. The answer is no, no. Never got to shake hands with him. Uh, my hand touched his once, and he, if he's not thinking about it, he's okay. But if you bring it to his attention, he will start being in his head about it and just start freaking out a little bit. But he, he's and he would have had to slice off your hand. About it. He's very internal about it. But if he hears you cough or sneeze, he will run the other way. He will. Uh, I'm like, no, no, it's just allergies. I'm sneezing. It's just allergies. So, so he's no Richard Dawson hugging the contestants. No, no, <laughs> and those kisses and the hugs. But the poor guy's been attacked so many times. Have you ever seen, if you've watched the show, he's been attacked. He gets his booty slapped. He gets hugged. And they, like, pull him up. And they've done all sorts of things. I mean, you should see the expression on his face. It's hysterical. He goes with it. He, he's really cool about it. Um, he doesn't freak out, which is a good thing. That's why he says he's in therapy all the time. His therapist has gone up a tax bracket. He jokes about that all the time. I don't think he's actually joking about that. <laughs> I don't think so. So there's, for those of us who really enjoyed Deal or No Deal, 
Should we just watch the reruns and forget about there being any future new ones? I would hope they would bring it back. They just, I heard uh, NBC brought back Fear Factor. So you just never know, but I haven't heard anything. You always hear those rumors, but mm, I don't think it's coming back. But we can always hope. Are you working on anything else right now? Yeah, uh, aside from the DVD uh, out and about, uh, there's a show called Hit Music Central. Um, it'll be coming out in February. It just got picked up. Uh, ten major, and it's, ten, it's ten major of, markets? Yes. And it's um, kind of American Bandstand meets Soul Train, but a younger, hipper version kind of, uh, with the texting the way American Idol does and, and Dancing with the Stars. You know, it gets yeah. the audience included. And it's all bands. So it's great. You know, all the bands get to go out there. They get voted and who's the best one and who people like. And, so and it's, it's a really cool show. Mostly groups that we ha- certainly David and I haven't heard of, but... New, new music. I'm sure bands that I haven't heard of either. <laughs> new music. Yeah, absolutely. And it, and it does have that interactive component yes, to it. which is great. I mean, look at how successful those other shows and what it's done for so many people, um, all those singers and dancers. So it's cool. Now it, it's going to happen for the bands. And actually, the executive producer is a Chicagoan, which I'm very Who's excited that? about. Um, Mark Hill. Oh, okay. Love him. It, Are you it all the goes host? back to being Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all goes back to the Chicagoans, I swear. So how do you end up co-hosting something like that? Um, I ended up meeting uh, the executive producer through a friend, and he saw my work, you know, seeing the other things I've hosted, and um, we hit it off, and he's like, I'd love to have you on board for this project. So we shot the pilot last year, um, and it was great. Um, it's just, I, I'm so proud of it and so excited. So I'm, I'm excited that they got it picked up. That's, it's huge. It'll be huge. Do you do a lot of stuff that never gets past that pilot stage? Oh, yeah. Done a, a bunch of stuff that hasn't gotten picked up. And then a lot of stuff that has. I've done everything from like a fishing show that didn't get picked up, which I wish that would have. That was actually cool. Are you a fisherwoman? Cool. I, I wasn't, but I'm game for anything. I'm willing to try anything. And it was really cool because my first half hour, I caught a, a 40-pound striped bass. I was impressed with myself. I was like, this is cool. And I got to put the bait on and... I had never done that before, so it was really cool. And I actually went fishing again once after that. I haven't been since, but I'm cool with it. I loved it. And I was I could not believe nobody told me how difficult it was gonna be to reel a fish in. Nobody did. I, I was bruised by the end because I didn't have one of those I didn't know you could wear um whatever it is to hold your rod oh, okay. around your waist. Nobody bothered to share that news with me because they didn't think I could catch a fish. Neither did I, but I did. I had someone put good. the bait on my line. I had someone take the fish off. Are you off. kidding me? What is what, wrong with you? What you do, you? go to a dude ranch? Come fishing with me. I did. I went to the one you used to be at the displays, the Are dude ranch. Of my grandpa was like 10. I said, I'm not touching the fish. I'm not touching the worm. What would you fish for? Goldfish? I don't know what those were. Trout, I think. <laughs> Smoked whitefish? What? Why wouldn't you put it yourself? Like, I don't want to touch the worms. You worms. They're worms. You know, it was re- but you know what's really cool? Even afterwards, we got to um, clean the fish. I've never you, done you that either. So the fish? I, it was awesome. It was blood and guts and everything running. And I'm like, this is pretty cool. But you guys eat eyeballs and lambs, the Greeks. Exactly. I'm <laughs> Greek. It all goes back to the Greek thing, too. This is true. Actually, I, I have to admit, I you can't would... do My mom and my sister do that. I cannot. I still to this day cannot. And you know that we have an intestine soup from the lamb uh, the next day. I can see everybody in the back like, yo. <laughs> I do not eat any of that either. <laughs> I have to gizzards? tell you, I, I can't do it. I My can't kids ate gizzards. It. They didn't know it. Oh, gizzards aren't bad. Livers. I guess if you don't know and you're eating it, you're right. like, oh, wow, this is good. Yeah. And then you find out what it is. You just want to puke your guts out. It's yeah. like calamari. I thought it was onion rings the first time I had. <laughs> no, you time, didn't. I, no, you didn't. I was like seven, eight. My grandpa said, here, have some onion rings. How cute is that? <laughs> and, they, and you went, these mm, are the yum. chewiest they're onion good. rings I've ever had. You're like, these are a little different, a little chewy. If yeah. they're chewy, they're overcooked. <laughs> Now, where'd you go fishing? It was in Martha's Vineyard. So it was really oh, cool to shoot there. Um, Not just any creek. That's no, no, it was really, really, it, it was cool. It was impressive. I wasn't expecting that. So I was like, yeah, bring it. Let's go. So did you get that fish mounted? Is hanging up on a wall somewhere? No, we ate it. <laughs> we ate it. Marinated it, ate it. We don't need to hang it anywhere. Okay. Food. It's so all about eating. Are you a good no, cook? no, no. I can't cook to save my life. Um, you would think as a Greek girl, yeah, I'm a little disappointing as a Greek girl in cooking. Um, but I can make reservations. <laughs> that works. I can eat out I'm all thinking the time. of my big fat Greek rotting, the movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. No, not me. Is your life kind of similar to that growing up? Oh my up? gosh. Yeah. When I watched that movie, my Greek, big fat Greek wedding, I'm like, why is everybody laughing? This is a documentary of my life. <laughs> I'm like, this is so. I went to Greek school. My family's like that. My fiance's family is chilled out and quiet compared to my family. You have to, you know, talk over each other, try to get your word in. And um, sounds like we're arguing half the time, but it's all good. It's love, passion, 
my experience with Greek life was when I was in college, I met this Greek girl at Loyola. Uh -oh. You sure want to share this with her? Does Melinda she, know about this? She knows uh -oh. about it. Okay. We went to Greek islands. It was on a Saturday night Great with place. a bunch of people, and there was a two-hour wait. She walks up to the front. We had a table right then and there. I'm like, oh, my God. She goes, yeah, we, we don't wait in line. Because she's Greek. Because she's Greek, and she used See to be a model. And I'm, mm -hmm. I said, this is something. Then another friend of the family, she's Greek, and we went there. Boom, got a table Same right thing. away. I go, these Greeks are something else. Everybody but they're knows very everybody. Clickish. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to get in with them, but once you're in, you're, you're in. in for life. Because I'm true. Italian. But you, you should, oh, are you? Okay. He's well, going to change his it. name to David Spadaopoulos. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah. then you might be able to get in quicker. Exactly. But no, that's how they are. That's how it works. Okay. You know Greek, you're in... Uh, Speaking of Greek... Greek Uh-oh. Have... Where are we going with this? No, I'm <laughs> this is I'm a, scared. I'm this scared. Is, this is a semi-family show, so... Okay, yes. You have a Greek line of beauty products? Oh, it's not my line. It's a Greek line called... I wish it was my line, actually. Oh. Um, but it's called Carez. It's a Greek line from Greece. And Johnson Johnson actually bought it here in the U.S. now. And um, I was their beauty correspondent for... They have an infomercial that's coming out. And I got to interview all the people using the line. It's 96% natural product. And um, I actually went through a five-week thing with them where I tried their products and they did a true view machine where of my face uh, with no makeup just what I look like under all the you know all the sun tanning I did all these years growing up right. yeah. um, and it's scary to see what my face looks like um, but we did it and to see the improvements over five weeks night and day it's amazing um, so for people who are looking for a great line Carez is really good I started saying lines diminish and I have a uh, you guys are like, we don't care about this stuff, but you're going to hear it anyway. Um, Go ahead. I, <laughs> you have brown, I have brown spots from tanning and uh, for all these years. So my skin's gotten damaged and it lightened it up. It's really changed my face. But, and it's great for guys, too. They have a men's line and you can use this stuff. So, guys, don't be afraid. It's made with olive to, oil? <laughs> it, it, it should be. <laughs> uh, but you'd be, next time I'm coming in, I'm bringing the Crys products and we're, okay. we're going to do facials together. Ooh. A, a, a little I could see the guys in the back, like, interesting. Mm. Yeah, I, they're, they're game. A, they're, little, a little feta, feta cheese. <laughs> there you go. Smear all over. There you go. Yes. Anything. Everything Cucumbers is Cucumbers on the eyes. See, he knows. He knows Have you been right? doing this? Feta and cucumbers. I love it. It's like a, a Greek salad. Like, right. With a on your face, yeah. Uzo. Olive oil. Ooh, uzo. Ooh, that's a little uzo. Scary. Have no. you have you experienced uzo? Uh, yeah. Which Sambuca is Italian, right? And it's Grap very, is similar. Gra very similar. Yeah, that's So harsh. when are you going to be on Dancing with the Stars? Oh, I would love to do that. Um, I, I wish. I wish they would ask, uh, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. I would love to do that because uh, I love dancing. and um, But it, it's tough. I've watched. I, do you guys watch it? Yeah, all? I watch it. That's Ricky work. Lake was amazing. Yeah. And JR, obviously amazing. And uh, Rob the Kardashian, I wasn't expecting. No, I thought... <laughs> Oh, uh, Chaz Bono. Chaz took me, Bono. It took me a second to realize what you were saying. I was like, what? Um, but they, <laughs> My kids are looking to go, huh? <laughs> they, so, so, so were the rest of us. <laughs> it was uh, pretty cool to watch uh, yeah. everybody do it, and they did well. And I was like, all right. And the contrast with that scary. one judge uh, getting in it with Len. Oh, Len with um, um, Hope Solo and... Max. Yeah, and I just saw Hope Solo on Anderson Cooper talking about it, trying to... Yeah, I won't say any more about it. Okay. I have my own She's opinions not happy. about it. No, she was not happy. And you would think being competitive and going through, you know, she's she's an athlete. You've been through this before. Don't be a sore loser sort of right. thing. Right, get over it. I mean, yeah, I agree. You win some, you lose some. And some things are beyond your control. And She got emotional. Yeah. She got emotional about it, but it's okay. And another it Chicago girl they want on there, uh, Jenny McCarthy, but she keeps turning it down. Her sister does the makeup for the judges, Georgia. You're, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, so they asked Jenny and she won't do it. She won't do Why it. Why won't she do it? I don't know. Her sister wants her to do it. Her sister does the do makeup just her. for the judges. For That's Len awesome. And, Ruben. and Carrie Ann Anaba. Carrie Ann yeah. Anaba. I love the way they, they mention their names and Len Goodman. I love him. Bruno Tognoli. Oh my yeah. God. He What a character. Oh, he thinks he wears character. makeup 24 hours a day. Uh, yeah, I, oh, he's, I have my doubts about Bruno, but that's okay. I bet. <laughs> so what else is coming up in your future? What, uh, what would you see 2012 looking like? Um, lots of good stuff. I'm actually, another thing I'm working on is working with young girls that are trying to get in the business and just guiding them and talking to them about, you know, how to get started, where they, you know, not to get caught up in the Hollywood scene and 
all the plastic surgery that goes on because everybody is starting to look the same in L.A. And it's nice to be back home where you see people look differently. You know, everybody looks different. There is not the same lips, the same eyes, the I know, same the boobs. L- the and, little turn up at the, at, yeah. at the end of the mouth. You go, it looks like Cesar Romero is the Joker from Batman yep. or something. And I have to say a lot of these people that do that don't even need it in the first place. Are you hanging out at the Playboy Mansion? I have gone there quite a few times, and yes, everybody does start to look the same. But there are some people that, you know, like, you know, from small towns that come in there and they don't change, which is nice to see, too. Um, well, it's quite an adventure going through the Playboy Mansion. A lot parties. of that cosmetic surgery, you get the feeling they almost do, as you were saying, preemptively bef- before things well, go. They don't, yeah, I, I think it's just become the trend. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but they start way before they have to. Um, some people don't even have to at all, uh, but it, it's it's too bad to see that because once you start, it, it, I, from what I understand, you start right, you getting addicted. It's kind of like tattoos. Once you start getting right. a tattoo, it's there's an addictive thing to it. I've heard. So well, I don't and know. then there's also the, you have to maintain that with whatever oh, yeah. the Botox or what the a little injections. Little tuck here yeah. and a little boob lift well, there, a little this, a little that. I saw a movie over the weekend. Miss Piggy has an age one bit in thirty years. <laughs> it's all that plastic surgery. Some people, though, I will say, looking pretty good. And you're like, wow, who's their doctor? Hmm, yeah, yeah, could, maybe I should reconsider all this. Nah, nah, you, <laughs> but yeah, you to each you, their own. I, you know, I, I don't want to um, knock anybody who's doing it, it to each their own. But if when you start seeing the younger girls coming in and thinking they have to, it's crazy. And a lot of film sets now, they a lot of the casting people don't like it because if you're trying to play a character... Now you've done so much plastic surgery, right. they're not going to hire you because now you look like everybody else. They want your face to move. So, so you have the advantage the, of looking young and being a little bit older than that 20-year-old who's coming definitely to Definitely older than that 20-year-old, but thank you for saying that. The, right? The company. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, so I'm able to, you know, kind of give some wisdom, I hope. I hope. One, one last question. Yeah. I see that you're on Vegas in 90210. Did you... Hey, we were a character. That was a in? while ago. Uh, Which nine hundred two one? The original one. It was one of the second to last. Yeah, the original one was la- uh, second to last episode, and it was with a scene with Luke Perry, and it was just you know they needed some chick in the bar, and so I played that where I go up to him and I'm kind of flirting with him, sort of thing, and then uh, Las Vegas, Las Vegas. That was, I was just a shopper, and I scream out. There was a bomb, and I start screaming out something, and small little roles here and there. So no kissing scenes with Josh Duhamel or Luke Perry. No, darn it. No, no, I got chipped. She wants her money back. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but we want to thank you for coming on. It was a pleasure talking to you, thank and good you. luck with your CD. Thank and you, you have so your website. Much. What's your website again? It's Patricia Kara with a K, patriciacara dot com. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. It's thank really you very nice much. to be back home and being here. So thank you. And that's Patricia Kara, and thank you for coming on. Thank you. Now let's go eat.